it was in March 2012 when we saw President Moi Kibaki take to the podium to announce the highly televised first commercially viable oil deposits in Kenya that we all thought will turn our lives around and make Kenya one of the richest countries in Africa. Kalo oil, which has been prospecting for oil in block 10 BB in Turkana County, discovered oil in Gamia 1. This is the first time Kenya has made such a discovery and it is very good news for our country. Now, it takes approximately three years after the discovery of commercially viable oil reserves in a country to develop all the necessary infrastructure and export oils for sale to other international market countries. Now, for Kenya, it has been 11 years since the discovery of the oil reserves in Trukan in 2012, and since then we have nothing to show for, which begs us to ask the question, what happened to the Kenyan oil? It's been a long journey since we entered Kenya, we discovered oil in 2012. It's a long journey ahead, there's lots to look forward to. We were working in East Africa in the Rift Basins and we were sure there was oil in Kenya. We had already discovered oil in Uganda and we were sure we could discover oil in Kenya. And our explorers working with local community did a great job and obviously we had the success in Nagemia in 2012. Before we answer that million dollar question, we have to look at another East African country which discovered oil in 2006, that is 17 years ago and has yet to export even a single barrel. Now, this is something I would say that it's a disappointment for the people of Uganda as much as it is for the people of Kenya because these two countries remain highly underdeveloped although they have billions of dollars lying untapped on the ground. Uganda has over 6 billion barrels of oil that when fully explored and exported can earn the country approximately 763 billion Kenyan shillings per year from the estimated 230,000 barrels per day export capacity. <music> Meanwhile, Kenya, on the other hand, has over 4 billion barrels of oil reserves that when fully developed and exported can earn the country around 400 billion Kenyan shillings per year from the 120,000 barrels per day capacity currently possible. To put this into perspective, the SGR construction from Nairobi to Mombasa cost around the same amount of 400 billion Kenyan shillings. Meaning, if we had started exporting oil 10 years ago, we could have built SGR to all corners and towns of this country, which would have made Kenya one of the most developed countries in Africa. Kenyan oil remains one of the most sought after in the international market because of its low sulfur property. But the biggest challenge to its export remains the fact that it has high wax content which solidifies, making free flow difficult. This means the pipeline construction has to include pipeline heating, making the process expensive. The total cost of pipeline construction from Lokicha in Turkana to Lamu Port, which is approximately 825 kilometers, is around 380 billion Kenyan shillings. Talo Oil has been seeking investment partners for the construction of this infrastructure for a while now and has so far used over 200 billion Kenyan shillings for its operations and development of the Lokicha oil wells. <music> There is one good news in all this oil exploration fiasco in Kenya. In August 2019, Kenya exported 200,000 barrels of oil via Mombasa port after transporting it via road from Trukana County under the Kenyan government early oil pilot scheme launched in June 2018. The scheme involved transportation of 2,000 barrels of oil daily from Trukana to Mombasa using trucks. The 200,000 barrels was sold to ChemChina, a Chinese company at a cost of 12 billion Kenyan shillings. If you love this type of content that involves development around Kenya and all of Africa, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.